Hello, Evans County High School Get the Picture Strategist. This is your school-based student support team meeting number two. Up to this point, we have had career strategist training, school-based student support team meeting number one, and we've also had a research-based strategies video sent out. So to start with, I have an agenda attached to your email, and I'd first like to read our belief statement. When exceptional learners from rural, high-poverty communities receive frequent one-on-one -on -one guidance and support, they will and can develop the self-determination needed to set and achieve individual, personalized goals focused on their post-high school aspirations. Our whole entire grant has been centered around this belief that if these students that are special needs and in high poverty can receive guidance from our strategists and meeting with them at least 10 minutes a week that they can reach their post-secondary high school goals. This is the fourth year of the grant and so far our data is showing that that is very true. We have had very high success with the students that are in the research group. So this is their last year and we're just very excited about what's going on with those students. Uh, the second thing I'd like to discuss is the reward system that we've set up. When our development team met uh, last year, we decided that this was a good idea to help students with getting their zero work done and keeping their F's up. So, so far this year, we've gone to Cheney's Dairy Barn. That was for students with no F's. And we've had a pizza party at midterm that was also for students with no F's. And in January, we will do our second field trip. That will be to the Corvette Museum, and that will only be for students who have no F's. So that seems to be helping some. I know it is a struggle to help the students to get their zero work in and get their assignments completed for class. But I feel like that the reward system is helping in that effort. Okay, the next thing we want to talk about on the agenda is your paces. As of uh, December the 19th, you should be right around pace 14. You have till January the 15th to actually complete pace 18. Pace 15 is your college and career readiness plan. I've handed you one CCR plan out and while I'm off for Christmas I will be completing the second CCR plan so I will have those for you as soon as we come back from Christmas break. If for some reason you get to that pace or you're already at that pace just skip that pace and you can come back to it once you have the CCR plan. The CCR plan has their grades, their attendance, their behavior. It also looks to see if their IEP post-secondary goal is matching up to their career pathway. So matches the classes that they're, they're taking this year. And if you have not entered your paces and you've just wrote on onto the paces on the paper and they're done, and you would like for me to enter those, I will be more than happy to do that. If I'm not at school and you want to put them in my mailbox, that will be great. Uh, if you want to give them to Corey, that will be wonderful. I don't mind at all to enter those for you if you don't have them entered. If you have several done and they've not been entered, just enter them all at once and just put the dates on there like, like when you met with a student. And that would be great. I'm not uh, checking the paces to see if they're all in there until after this video goes out. So I will be doing that during Christmas break also. I'll be checking everybody's name and their student number to see if their paces are in there. So I'm asking you please, if you can, get your paces in. If I do your paces, that's no problem at all. I'd just like to have them before Christmas break. Your second uh, check will uh, be January the 15th. I'll be bringing by the quarterly report for you to sign. 
Everybody should have already received their first $50 check. If for some reason you haven't received yours, please email me back and I will be glad to find out what's going on. I will also be sending out some videos about research-based strategies. I've sent out one and I'll probably send out two or three. On your contract it says that you would watch two of those. So if you don't mind to watch those when I send them out, please email me back and just say I watched it because when you do I will check your name off in the Google form that you have done that and also on this school based student support team meeting you're supposed to, to attend two of those and there's four of them throughout the year so please email me back that you've watched this video and I'll check your name off okay uh, the next thing I just just talking about the documentation and meeting with the student it truly is a relationship building grant so I know many of you are doing a wonderful job developing that relationship with that student and it really means a lot to them when I talk to them they talk about the time that they're you're, they're meeting with you and the things they're talking about and you are making a difference okay so what I did was everybody that had entered a pace I wrote your name down if you've entered 10 or 12 your name went into the basket 10 or 12 times and then we took the basket and we had a name drawn out so the winner of the $50 da -da -da -da, is Nancy Apato so Nancy uh, when I am there on Tuesday I will have $50 from you and that money is from me to try to help everybody encourage you to get those paces in and I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I know we've all worked hard up to this point and everybody's ready for a break. I again want you to know I appreciate everything you're doing for the program. And I'm so very proud of everything that uh, Edmonton County has done as far as our data. Uh, we really, really want to concentrate on helping our students from now until May. And if you have any problems, concerns, questions, please email me at cindy.whittinghill at gret.org or uh, find me. I'll be glad to help you find Corey. And we're just going to, we want to go out doing the great job that we've done for the past three years. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Hope everybody has a good break and gets a little bit of time to rest up. And we'll be back in January. Thank you very much. Don't forget, email me back that you watched the video.